my name is The Bird Brain, and today we are learning about one of my favorite tools. Because you know, sometimes it's about you, but sometimes it's also about what I want to do, selfishly, to make me happy. So today, I am introducing you to the stamp tool. Harmony has lots and lots of cool features, so it's easy to sometimes overlook or forget some of them. Or omit to learn the new one that comes with every new edition of the software. So the stamp tool is very useful in many different ways. So let me use how many default options, which most of them are actually designed by yours truly, to show you some examples. So let's say that I have little sparkles that I need to put in my scene to make everything prettier. Well, you could draw every sparkle one by one, or you could just paste little, little sparkles and make it pretty. Or I don't know if I have like a scene that is happening underwater, you know, like this one. Maybe I will need to use some little bubbles. I drew a rough of my bubbles and then I just went on a cleaner layer and I started to add some little bubbles to my scene instead of having to clean them one by one, you know, because I'm breaking lazy. Let me write that in bubbles. Other useful things instead of elements and effects, you can use the stamp tool to have a little banked rain and then I can just paste it once every frame. And you see, it's never the same rain that I'm pasting because in my little properties right here, my rain is set to cycle forward and it can also cycle at random if you want an even more random rain da -da 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 -da. like i know you can do it in particles but like this took literally like five minutes to do instead of like fighting off with the particle system for something easy like that man go with the stem tool the stem tool is amazing you have to love the stem tool Last but not least, you can also use the stamp tool to store some little character poses. Here I have a little uh, set of character. So if I want to have my character in my scene and, and I just want to check if the size is right, I can have a sizing stamp, which is this. I can change my character. If I want to animate my scene, I will have my reference right there in my scene. So the size will be okay. So if I want to animate the little dog, I know that the sizes are going to be okay. Of course, you have to respect and know how to draw, but like... Not today, it seems. So yeah, you can use that instead of having to go like fetch a little picture on your computer. And you can store a lot of characters in there. Like, I think we only have like four or five in this. Yeah, just like a dude, a girl, a dog, and a seal with a little bracelet that is so cute. So this is more static poses, but if you had a series and you have lots of pose that comes back, you know, there's always this character that always leans against a wall, like arm crossed and stuff. So. You can get your stamp and you could store these little poses inside a stamp. So of course, by default, it's just with Sticky to Stickman. Uh, so there's many poses that you could keep in there and then you can just use them as rough for another animation. So if you had better poses than Sticky to Stickman, you could actually do some pretty cool stuff. I mean, you just choose your little stamp here and you can modify it similarly to a brush. So you have your maximum scale, minimum scale. So this is like the size. You can change uh, the roundness and angle. You can also add some random things there. So it's pretty cool to create some effects and you can make it cycle or not. Also, if you click and go, like follow what you draw. I just don't advise to do it that much because it is creating like tiny little drawings every time you do that. So be careful that you don't put that many in your scene. No, be reasonable. So sometimes when you make your reading template, you want to be able to name your little views accordingly. So maybe if you're drawing your character uh, and you want to make a nice little sheet with it, you could have your character showing like that with all the naming is already done. And like these are the default ones, but you can make your own. You can also paste your studio's logo everywhere. Or if you feel really mean, you could use the retakes temp to put retakes everywhere and say like, oh yeah, your animation was great, but you know, fix it. You could also tell the people, oh, be careful about this little thing because I put something next to it so that you pay attention to it. Or, you know, when you're supervising your production, you can say like, oh, this will need a mask in comp and just identify it instead of like, writing and stuff so pretty cool i love this stamp tool okay i just love it so i will teach you how to make one right now so let me create a new drawing layer i'm gonna call it stamp and what we're gonna do with it is a bunch of numbers so i'm gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so stamps are basically just drawings in your timeline that you take like that you highlight them click and drag and then you go to your stamp tool then you go into your tool properties you go right here in new brush preset i'm pretty sure it should be called stamp but let's go with that so new brush stamp preset and you name it so this is gonna be the boring number if i want to stamp numbers in my scene i can stamp them so it's that easy i also store some animation in there if i add i don't know oh yeah i could go get my little seahorse you know it's better for run cycle but like yeah you can store a little animation in there so for crowds for run cycle for poses that are reused it's very cool to use this tool so yeah, that was the STEM tool and I hope that you like it as much as I do and that you will make great use of it. You know, like making 
hearts with snowflakes because that's how much I love you all the people that watches my video you look at that that because that's how much I love you people that watch my videos I'm making little uh, snowflakes heart I'm making it to show you how much I appreciate then you can make it all happy so I hope you like the stamp tool and that you're gonna use it if you create a stamp uh, feel free to poke me on discord and I will check it out and I might show it in another video so all right have a nice day